Good afternoon. Good morning. Here in Vegas again. It's me, Josiah Michaels. What to do, what to do. You know, we call this that today. It's, not, it's just a boring day, but just gonna relax, take some laps in the pool, and relax for the day. Now, what's my topic for the day? My topic for the day is being grateful for what you have. I think I said this before in my other video. But, you know, I gotta say it again. Be grateful for what you have. You know, you have health. You know, opening your eyes in the morning, seeing the beautiful colors. You know, appreciating what you have. And letting go of what you have. It. When people move on in their lives, it's scary, okay? Last night I was talking to a friend of mine and that, you know, experience this already, okay? People will drop you out of your life, especially in Vegas. Yeah. Here in Vegas, yeah, they're not very chummy people over here. But get used to it. When the world comes in and you change, when you grow, you learn, you know, because you're not the same person anymore. So you might lose friends. They will be jealous of you. They want to talk to you. And the real people are the ones, people that, that they appreciate your humor. And I appreciate that. I pre appreciate your family members. Sometimes that they get in their nerves. You know that's the thing. You know that's no that's normal. But that's part of it. That you know it's a part of the par course. You just have to swallow that and then say, hey, well, let that roll, roll, let that uh, let ang let that uh, not anguish. What's the anguish? Let that, that irritation roll you know, off your back. People get the end of that. But the other is one thing. It's only temporary. It's, it's just like a sting of a bee. Sometimes that it hurts, so it will be gone soon enough when it's cured. The same thing. You gotta realize one thing. Be, you know, be appreciative of what you have. Sometimes that's hard because you know why? We're selfish people. We take everything for granted. We get internet. We get an iPad. We get everything. It's like, ah, oh, I don't have everything I need. Bullshit. You have everything you need. You have two legs. You have two eyes. That you have a brain. They have a good family members. That's the thing. People don't appreciate that. You know why? We're spoiled to look for the greener, you know, for the other things in life. Let me, you, let me tell you something. When I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, okay, and in the suburbs of the Philippines also, I thought that the people had perfect lives. Wrong. Beyond picket fences, that is always something they hide. Really. And that's that, 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 that thing. You know, you never know what's going on in someone's household. You never know. They don't show you your problems to you. And that's the thing. You don't know appreciate until you see it. Sometimes you know, I can't stand my family with that. You know, okay? I like you know, other relatives also. But you know what? They're not so out of worse other family members out there. Because you know why? Little mob, they kill each other. With their family. See? That's the thing with that. Family irritates you sometimes, but you know, just let it go. And when people leave your life, just be appreciative that, that you, they were in your life. And keep those people who, uh, who are loyal to you. When you become successful, you need less friends, to be honest with you. Less friends is that, you know, we call this that are the only people that you trust. Remember, okay? If you have a kid, I study medieval uh, history a lot. In the court of the king, a lot of people plot for his throne. Just remember that. Be appreciative of what you have. If you had to be alone, to be it. Okay? Like last night, a friend of mine had that, you know, she had uh, problems with her friend dropping her. Like, well, I told her, well, she wants to move on. If your friend wants to move on, so be it. You just have to learn how to let go of people who don't want to talk to you. Be selfish. Be appreciative. Be like me, yeah, look. It's December in Chicago be freezing right now, but I'm, I'm appreciative that I have great weather. My dad like stays and says like, oh, it's too cold outside. No, it's too cold for you, but for not for me. Be appreciative and learn one thing. Right now, I'll thank. I'm gonna do it right now. Thank for family. Thank for beautiful living in Vegas. Thank you for opportunity living in America. Thank you for for giving giving me a great body of that a good healthy body. Number five. Thank you for your relationship for God. And most of all, thank you for being there for God, for being there with us. See? And thank you that for, uh, you know, for, uh, no, thank you that for giving me the strength to endure on. That's the things you have to be appreciative about. Even though, like, we call us that, remember one thing. The simple things in our life are the most important things. A guy living in a cave somewhere in a forest in a hobble like that. Okay, that's not a civilization. You know how lucky he is. 
It's not like the deal with life of that, you know, we call this every day to that, you know, he gets up that he didn't know, he might, he, might, he, he might die the next day, you know why? Because you learn to appreciate what he has. Appreciate what you have. Because remember one thing, too much good things a bad thing. There was this, there was, ever seen, the, there was a story called Zadu. Zadu story about two explorers in, in, the, in the book. He found paradise on top of, of uh, a mountain. I think I repeated this to you, but I'll repeat it again. He found paradise on, it's a book called Zaydu. I know, I forgot the writer's name. But it's a book like that that talks about paradise on top of a mountain. This fictional writer weaved the tale. The explorers found everything in there. Beautiful wife, be, you know, beautiful garden, beautiful everything. And guess what? It was, it was in there, in that place. He has perfect health. Perfect things, no wars, no politics. So he's only had what happened. He wants to go back to the real world. You know why he was bored. Shows you how human beings that we're wired for self-destruction. You know why? Because we want our desires to be fulfilled. We want that thing. In other words, that you want that conflict, you want that thing. You haven't found an inner peace yet. That's why I tell you, people, be appreciative. Find your inner peace. You won't need these things anymore. That after a while. And that's the thing I tell you people before Christmas comes, you get to know your family members. If you do their thing, say hi to them. What's down the road that you won't see them anymore? Because you know they don't appreciate you. That's the problem. With that. At least that you know you acknowledge that they're there. Once we're up there in paradise somewhere, we will laugh at each other and say, you know what? We waste your time on earth. That's just the truth. You know why? Pride, ego. We call this that you know. Uh, you know, we call it, you know, you know we call it uh, anger, you know, sadness, depression. That stops you from communicating. It's hard. You know, we call it, I can make a snap decision like that, but trying to talk, you know, try to stop your relationship with people that, in the inner level, it's hard. That's why that always be appreciative. Try to be, 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 be with respect. I'm guilty with this. In, in Facebook with that, I know, we call it that, you know, I'm blunt. I, I'm one of those blunt jokers then. Okay? I might hear some of his feelings. So remember one thing. I'm going to learn this too. You're going to learn this too also. To be appreciative of your friends. Don't abuse them. Try to be nice. Try to compliment them. I don't even know that, that, that the slap a happy joke, but control yourselves. Try to establish, 2020, just try to establish a good relationship. Let this world and negativity just roll off. I know you guys have hard, 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 hard problems out there, especially for people, from, my friends from Chicago. Remember one thing: you think your life sucks? Live in India, live in the poorest country, live in a war zone. Yeah, live in a war zone. See how it feels like. How does it feel like you get out, you know, get out of your bed every morning, see a T seventy two Soviet thing crush your house like that the next day? Huh? Over here, there's nothing like that. We hear about crimes when we're faced very far away. Think about that. Okay? Remember one thing. Thank God. Thank God that you're living. You know what? There's one kid like that in the hospital right now with cancer. She wants, he or she wants to live. And you're complaining about your life? God damn it, man. Like, oh, you see, life's not so unfair. I'll see you guys later.